Here I am again with my um, fellow Yorkshireman, Tony Smith. <laughs> Very proud Yorkshireman at that. Um, yeah, just I've got a few more questions for you. Um, last time we spoke, we spoke about a player leave it, leaving the club um, and, and now you've brought in, uh, a, in my opinion, a great signing and I'm lucky enough to play outside him and, and that's Chris Sandow. So can you tell me um, what, what your thoughts are so far on him and how he's interacted with the players at training and obviously he is a character um, but he's brought more than that hasn't he? Yeah he sure has, Yeah, he's a, he's a cheeky halfback, yep. uh, he's got that personality that you know, he's really positive around the place and he likes to have fun and he lo loves training when, in, when the ball's involved, yep. you know uh, I don't think he's going to be looking forward to a long uh, off-season training <laughs> sessions and uh, but uh, yeah he's you know, I, I think all the players have bought into Chris as well as seen what he's capable of, yep. uh, both on the training field. He's still getting to know us, as, yeah, as we know, yep. you know, in terms of what players' attributes are on the field. So when he gets some more of that and more understanding of other players around him, he's, he'll, Im he'll improve us even more. But, uh, you know, I think he's helped our kicking game as well. Uh, uh, in the short time that he's been here, and um, yeah, but he's still coming to terms with you know, different grounds. He's been played on two old traditional yep. grounds now in Leeds and and then Cass. Uh, I know he's looking forward to home ground, and we've trained a fair bit on it lately, so uh, he feels right at home here so far. Yeah, he is. He's not looking out of place at all. But um, yeah, leads us into to Wigan Friday, mass, massive game and. We're probably not sitting or, or finishing the season where we want to be, and um, and and that's not through lack of trying, as, as I know from the players. Uh, obviously, being one of the players, is there a, a key area you would change, or you think we need to needed to uh, pick up on throughout the season, which would uh, give us that yeah. place? Well, well, we've we've identified some some areas, and I think we're trying to strengthen those. Some through recruitment, yep. um, some through some of what we're doing off the park as well. So there's areas off the field that, yeah, we need to uh, make sure that we're, we're doing our best to prevent some of the injuries that we've had um, as well. We've had an incredible injury list this year and some of that can be prevented and some some of it's just part and parcel of, of uh, rugby league. I think that shows as a club though that we've, we've not been one of those clubs and you've not been one of those coaches who's gone to the press and, and said about the amount of players we've had out because I know a few times at the season we've had 10 first team players out and yeah. a lot, lot of other clubs would be, be um, singing from the rooftops about the amount of players that they've got out but um, you as a coach and then you um, want us players is just to crack on with it all you can do is yeah. do is what we've got and, and that's what we, we, we do. Pretty much yeah and, and you know we've still put out strong teams as, as well and that's probably why some people don't recognise how many injuries we've yeah. got at times because we've still got quality players but and young players that have, have gained incredible experience this year that they'll be better for. But, uh, you know, I, I, I suppose I did probably about three quarters of the way through the season started to let people know just how yeah. how many injuries and how disruptive that can be for for a team and just not having the depth. And you know, we're, we're trying to do some things off the field as well, trying to... You know, we're looking to become um, one of the clubs that have a reserve grade team, for instance, yeah. next year. And uh, so some of our younger players and, and senior players can develop when, when they're coming back from injury or, or when they've been out for a while or loss of form. They can play in a reserve grade game to get back into, into some form. So we're, we feel that there's some things that we've needed to improve and we're, we're striving to do that. We're doing that as a club off the field too yeah. now, you know, and... For the last few years we've had success on the field but we we're now seeing that we need to do things well off the field and on the field so we've got to we're all the time striving to improve and we're not going to get it right all the time and we're not going to be you know top of the grade all the time but we're striving to do that each and every year which which is definitely a positive and I think being here for, for um, I don't know how many years I've been here now it's, it's <laughs> been yeah that's, since I've been going grey and all that um, but I uh, know we're de definitely forward thinking and uh, the, the f um, front, forefront of um, the advancement in, in the sport. I definitely believe that. But um, anyway, so finally, um, we've got is it, is it five matches to go now? And um, mathematically, we, c we could still make the, the top four. And it, um, ideally, it's not 
where we want it to be. It's not in our hands anymore. Yeah. Um, but if you, if you was to say set a goal um, out of the next five games, not saying um, how many games you want us to win, but realistically, is it, is it just down to performance now? Forget about everything else. Forget about results. Just as long as we're performing well as, as a team and as a group of players, um, then then you'll be happy with that. Well, that's that gives you your best chance, doesn't it, to win yeah. games and. Uh, you know, if you're not performing well, the chances of winning games are lessened. You know, yep. so we, it's about everybody doing their jobs and doing them well and, and combining well as a team. So, you know, our focus is is finishing strong. Whatever else happens by other teams, we yep. can't ha have an effect on that except the game that we're at. Yeah. You know, and it's a uh, it's a ga big game this week. We always, you know, like to think that both teams perform well against each other. There's a good rivalry there. And um, you know where we are on the on the ladder, it makes no difference. It's about going out there and performing to your best each and every week for the, that pride on yep. our shirt. And um, you know that's a that's a big one for us. But you know we're looking forward to another great game against Wigan. And and uh, if we do that and, and perform well, gives us a good chance. And then we'll concentrate on the next game and and we'll see what else everybody else does. Yep. But we've got to take care of our own bit. And, you know, we're, we're disappointed to be sitting where we are, but all you can do is deal with what's in front of you rather than look back over your shoulder yep. for too long. And, uh, oh no, one last one. Since Chris has come in, am I still your favourite? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of favourites. I've, I've got at least 25 favourites. Uh, I thought I since I asked you last time and we've had a new player come in, so I just thought I'd double check that I was still your favourite. And I am, I am, I am. I had to be careful. Uh, I wasn't sure what you meant. Then. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. Uh, no, well, hey, listen, uh, I love all my boys, and uh, you know we we need to get the best out of all of them. Uh, you're all my favourites when you perform well. Uh, sometimes you get in my bad books when uh, performances are a bit below, as you know. But you know, hey, listen, um, you know I know you're out there trying, and that's the main thing. Brilliant. Thank you.